So let's get started. Today we are going to be focusing on Shurdun's bulk processing functionality, which lets you load large numbers of products into Shurdun at once. So just to get going here, we'll walk through the agenda for today. First, we'll walk through the bulk processing interface. We'll walk through the preferred workflow for processing bulk information. First, let's go into the application and show you what our bulk interface looks like. The interface is found by clicking on products from the navigation bar and selecting bulk upload. Much like everything else, it reads from left to right, so the process is laid out really nicely. Starting on the left, we have the Upload tab, where you will submit all your files for processing, including your image files. The Results tab is for monitoring the success of all the uploads that you have processing through the system. You can download your uploaded file if you need it. You can also download the results after bulk processing. Under the Templates tab, you can download both templates and guides for bulk processing. This will help you identify which fields you need and what they are used for. Anytime you export data from the system, you can retrieve it from here. You can also do a very targeted search and export just a list of specified data fields. As you are working in the system, should you ever receive an error code, say something didn't go well, you can use the error code number given to diagnose what went wrong. The log data is what we get back from Amazon. In large part, you won't need the logs unless you are trying to troubleshoot a listing from Amazon. So let's take a look at the bulk processing workflow. There are four basic steps to working through any bulk processing task, whether that be adding items in bulk, bulk editing items, ending items in bulk, or so on. The process is as follows. First, you'll need to set up your bulk processing file. Second, you'll need to create the data that you'll need for bulk processing and add it to the spreadsheet. Next, you'll upload the completed file. Finally, you'll check the results of the process data to make sure that everything went smoothly. So we want to start with the basic guidelines for setting up the bulk file. First, you'll need to work in Excel or Google Sheets. You will need to save the file as a comma-separated value file, or CSV. The header columns across the top define what data field is being altered. The products are listed one per row. We advise you to only use the necessary header columns, as adding the header and leaving that field blank will result in the overwriting of any existing values in that field. Just to remind you, if you need to know which of the column headers to use, you can refer to the templates files under the template tab. So let's see what this actually looks like. The guide is set up as follows. The columns are color coded, red for mandatory, orange for general fields, and as you'll see you can find Amazon, Etsy, eBay, they're all color coded uh, and easy to find. The spreadsheet has the header columns listed in the first row. The second row has an explanation of how that field is used. And then the third row holds a list of valid values for the field. There are two columns that always have to be the same, the action column and the field ID. The action column has to be the first column in every bulk file. This tells the system how to process the information you are providing. The actions are as follows. Edit for making changes to products that already exist in Shurdun. Relist for sending the current products to new channels, such as listing a product you already have on Amazon onto eBay. Add for creating new products. Start for creating products as draft items for later listing. End for listing an item on all of your active channels. And delete can be done, but it is not recommended, as this will not only remove the product from all of your listing channels, but will delete them from the Shurdan database as well, and we cannot recover the data. The second column that we always need is our product identifier. We strongly recommend always using the GUID or globally unique identifier for all your bulk uploads as variation listings can share a skew between parent and child listings and you always want to make sure that you're editing the correct one. You can also use the SKU or stock keeping unit. This is fine to use if you're adding new products that do not have variations. 
If you are using the SKU generator, you can also add the SKU column header and leave all the fields for the products you want to add blank. SureDone will automatically generate an SKU for each of your new products. Now, just in terms of data creation, we want to make sure that we only add the columns that we need to add or edit as adding columns and leaving the cells blank will override the data that already exists with an empty value. The guide provides both the proper column headers and what the acceptable data is for that field. For example, stock will take any integer, condition will take any plain text field, and so on. Any columns you leave off the sheet during a bulk add will default to the values selected in your default channel settings.